Welcome to Mentoring Mondays. It's great to be with you again at the start of another working week. And today I want to talk to you about something that's a really famous Bible verse again. Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And it's really important not only to add that last bit, through Christ who strengthens me, but actually to reflect on the fact that he's saying, I can do all things. Because even when Christ is strengthening us, that could be rather a big boast, couldn't it? Suggesting that we can take on this and take on that. But that's not exactly what Paul is saying. This Philippian letter is quite a remarkable New Testament letter. He's writing to a church where he had a very interesting time having been put in their local jail and seen the jailer come to faith in Christ and had been there praying with the women at the riverside. And, and now he's got a sense of partnership with, him as, as he's going, with them as he's going forward in his ministry. They've been supporting him financially, and this is him saying, look, this is great to be partnering. You're a, you're a great church. You get behind me in all of these things. And I suppose they could have run away with the idea, well, Paul can do all things through the, through the finances that we give him or something like that. But it just comes right away from that. And Paul is saying, I can do all things through Christ. And that's where we need to come to. We can depend on all kinds of things and be grateful for all the support we get. But if we don't, in the end, center on Jesus himself, we're going to really miss the true source of our strength. It's him strengthening us that makes the difference. But the other thing I want to pick up on and and probably focus on a little bit more as we're thinking this through for the week ahead is the fact that Paul wasn't just making this as a kind of faith statement where as a young Christian he's stepping out and saying, look, I'm the equivalent of Superman. I can do all things here. I just need the strength of Christ in me and I can take on the world. This is actually a reflection of someone who's been in ministry for a long time, someone who's been through the ups and downs. And when he's talking about, I can do all things, he's actually reflecting on the fact that he's discovered he can live in impoverished situations. He can live in affluent situations. And the adaptability that comes from being in Christ is something that has really impressed him, that he's been able to be, as he says, all things to all people. That's a special gift, isn't it? To be able to identify at that kind of level. And I really think it's an important part of interpersonal relationships that we can actually identify and be part of people and not talk down to people, not talk up to people, but actually meet people in a way that they feel you're starting from where I'm at. So this is a large part of the context of what Paul is saying when he says, I can do all things through Christ. But I want you to see that, yes, it is a faith statement because as we go forward, we press on with that expectation. But it's also a statement of fact that when you've been walking with Christ for a time, you can see that there's so much experience that's come into your life where you can say again and again and again and again, I proved that God is faithful and that Christ is with me. So that's what I want your testimony to be for this coming week, that you're proving on a day-to-day basis that you can indeed do the things that you never expected to do because Jesus is with you. So have a great week and I look forward to being with you again. But if you've watched this on Facebook, please indicate that you like it. And if you've watched it on YouTube, please subscribe.